going to show a MagGIS uh, example on uh, how to do a navigation menu. Um, I'm setting, I'm starting up with a boilerplate, but before we do that, I just want to show you where I got this example from. This is a refactor of a React example that I found, and this uh, JS bin link will be included in the description of the video, so you can check out the link to the React, the original React example. I just want to show and demonstrate the the power of MagJS and its simplicity and its elegance in comparison to other um, templating framework, component frameworks similar, such as React.js. So we're, set, we're starting with our really simple template menu, like we do in all MagJS uh, modules. Um, we denote it by an ID, and we have menu, and we always have a controller, a view, and these are the basic structures. We send some props, and then we define our module itself by the ID, the object, and our default props. So there's three parts to the menu. Uh, first part is we're going to list uh, the menu items. Second part, we're going to focus on the menu item default, the focus one. And then on click, display that focused one as well. So to get started, um, I'm just going to paste in some boilerplate uh, CSS um, from that exact example as well, just so we can kind of be on the same page and look and feel. So here's that CSS, as you can see here. I'm going to be creating snapshots as we go along, so you can start from the first one in, in the tutorial link uh, as you like. Um, the next thing we're going to do is going to create a, a place to house our uh, menu items, our menu list. So in MagJS, arrays are very intuitive and simple and powerful. So you know the first thing we want to do is create a container for our list. So we're going to create a UL. And the next thing we want to do is create a template or a container for our list items. So it's all plain HTML, no special templating. Um, and they map directly to our object. So in our properties, we're going to pass in some default values. Um, the first default value we're going to pass in is the focused one. This is just an index array. So we're saying the first array item should be focused by default. And here's our list of menu items as well. And notice our menu item is going to map exactly to the item itself in our HTML. That's just the magic, not magic, but <laughs> simplicity, I should say, of how MagJS works. So once we have that set up in our properties, we now need to uh, bind it. And in MagJS, again, this is really, really simple. So all we have to do is say this, that, menu, item, equals an array. And whatever we put in here, it will render, such as one, two, three but we're going to use our list that we created here. So props, and there you go. It's as simple as that. We create a snapshot. All right, so the next thing we want to do is set our focus to our property. So we can say this, that, focus, equal, props, that, focus. And once we have that, we can also start displaying our default uh, value or the selected menu item. So let's create a little HTML for that real quick. And we're just going to say uh, selected is we'll bold, bold that. So there's five element matchers in MagJS that we can set to from our this which is the same thing as our state in our view. The only difference is the controller is called once on initialization, and the view is on every change to this or state. Um, so the, the five ways to match are via ID, tag name, class name, and also you could do name attribute value or data bind attribute value. All right, so once we have the focused item, all we really want to do is say to our bold, we're going to put in our bold, which one is selected, right? So state 
dot b equals our menu item list, which again this equals state, which is passed to the view. So state dot menu item and our focus, which is focus. State focus. And now you can see it's a selected equals home, which is our default. But clearly we want something a little more dynamic. So we what we want to do is basically um, for each menu item here, we want to unclick, set the focus to the index of the menu item. Again, Mac.js is very simple with this. So in Mac.js, when you want to access all, you put a dollar first. So you're basically saying greedy. So we're saying all menu items. And then to do an event, you just uh, event is an attribute. So all attributes start with an underscore. And events are just normal native events. So on click. Uh, function and we get the event but MagJS also provides the index such as the xpath which is very useful especially in this case so in this case we're going to say state.focus equals index so now when I click individual items it shows which one was clicked below. I hope I'm saving the snapshots. Okay, so we did the focus one. Now we want to focus on the menu item itself. You notice that it's not being highlighted when I click it. It doesn't remember it here. It shows it down here, but not over here. So why don't we simply, you know, let's refactor this as well while we're at it. Let's move our clicked function up here. I like to put all the functions up over here. And I believe it's faster as well. Okay. So everything looks good, except we need to add this. And by default events, this is the node, so we need to bind it to this. If you do want access to the node, you can still get it through node over here. Okay, let's make sure we're still working. Yep, our refactor worked. Snapshot that. All right, so the last part, like I said, is number three. On click, we want the focused item. So MagJS provides another useful helper. Um, this is called config. And basically, it allows us to do onload behavior or hookends to um, any element that we want, any matcher. And it provides three useful arguments. The node itself is new, if this is the first time this is being initialized. Context is just a simple object wrapper that it passes to itself over and over, so you can send uh, properties and maintain them in the state for the config as well as the useful index again. So what we're going to do here is really simple. We want to match the focus of the node on class list. So we're going to use uh, the built-in toggle and our focus method for the menu item. And notice how they're all got focused, right? But we don't want them all to be focused. We just want the selected one. So we can do that by saying state.focus equal index. So now when we click, we'll have the focus menu item there. So let's just review our HTML again. We have our ID menu and our list container class with the menu item template, and then our selected, which is just in the bold tag here. Right, so let's review our JavaScript one last time. Um, create another snapshot. So we have our um, menu. We have our default properties being set in our controller. And we have our um, selected item, or our menu item config on click event and our default properties. So I, I 
would tell you it's really useful to compare this to React and just to see the simplicity um, cognitively, you know, it's very easy to read in comparison. So thank you, and that's it for right now.